We hear a lot about what's bad about local TV news, but this series shows how good local news reporting can be. Intertrade Chemical sells sewer solvent to the city and has been for years at about 28 bucks a gallon. At that price, $6,000 of it was dumped here while we watched Monday afternoon. If it sounds like a lot of money down the drain, well, it is a lot of money. This document of purchases we obtained shows just how much of your money is being spent to clean this sewer line. In one year's time, from January 1993 to January 94, the city purchased more than $163,000 of sewer solvent from Intertrade Chemical. Purchased it without ever considering bids from other suppliers who say they can offer a similar chemical to do the same job at a fraction of the cost. I kind of inherited what was going on, and I did not know or have the time to compare pr uh, prices or to send out bids. Is somebody lining their pockets here? Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't think so. Sometimes our job is just to read between the lies. <laughs> Miss Sandy Reesgraff, investigative reporter, is here to accept for sewer solvent scandal. And yes, uh, somebody's pockets were being lined. Um, it's an absolute thrill, a, a real honor for me to be here representing KGAN-TV today. I'd like to thank the Peabody um, Board. I'd like to thank um, Mike Bach, Rich Herbst, and Dennis Kendall, Station Owners Management, um, for backing us and supporting us in what we do. Um, we are the only station in the entire state of Iowa with a full-time team devoted to investigative journalism. Um, when we began two years ago, some people <laughs> questioned, what the heck is there to investigate in the heartland of America? You won't be doing anything. Well, we've been busy full time and we've proves, proven them wrong. There's plenty to look into in Iowa and around us. Um, we have a mission and that's to be involved in the community to make it a better place to live. We're doing that with our investigative reports. In the case of the sewer solvent scandal, we're now saving the taxpayers of Cedar Rapids over a half million dollars a year. So our work is producing some good. We have won one other Peabody in the station's history, and that was back in 1955 for a program called The Secret of Flight. At that time, the recipient told the Peabody's something that we feel is appropriate for our station today. And he said, quote, we don't claim to have the highest tower, the most powerful transmitter, or even to have the most authoritative voice. But we know our neighbors watch and listen to us. And for this reason, more than any other, we do our best to say what's important. And I think that sums up what we do in our investigative journalism in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Thank you.